<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys made it. Okay. Oh. Hey, Kilby. Hey, Carrie. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the stress that that caused. It's like, I'm a perfectionist and I hate it when things don't work. So I'm glad I managed to figure it out. <sighs> so my original plan was to do three drawings, 20 minutes each, time drawings. Um, it's really weird because I can see my hand moving on my computer. There's a lag. But my plan was to do three drawings, 20 minutes each. Um, I completely get if people can't stick around any longer because, you know, it's half an hour later than I planned. But I'll show you the... the um... Hey, Tara! Oh! oh, I'm so glad I managed to get it working. Oh, I've actually only got my shirt on now. I was so hot and stressed and oh, panicky. Right, I must talk a bit slower. Oh, okay, we gave you time to switch the laundry. Yay! <laughs> That's good. Um, I've got three different sketchbooks out for three different drawings. Hopefully you can see everything on my table so far. I thought the first one we'd start with just because it's already illustrated. So therefore I figure it'd be easier is a picture from here. This is the roof birds and owls of Europe. It's a ditch book. I've shown it on one of my videos before. Now I picked out a couple that I liked, but I think the most sensible one to do is this kestrel. Obviously I don't think we should draw the entire thing, but I thought it'd be like, because it's so colorful, it would be a good warm up exercise. And I like the format, it will fit well in here. This is gonna be like my little warm up sketchbook. And then, oh, let me move that so you can see. My thinking is I should be able to do it like that, have half, half. I've got like sewing stuff on the table as well. And then, this is what I did the other day on um, a live Zoom. So I'm basically borrowing someone else's idea, many people's ideas, when they have their patrons, they do this kind of like, oh, let's do time drawings and I love them. So I thought that would be a good thing for us to do. Um, Tara says, it gave me some time to cap up, catch up on your Jackson's meal. Yeah, the pencils. They're, I'm so loving them. Um, so in this one, for the owls, I thought we would use uh, some acrylic markers and then pencils on top. So it may be the polychromos, but I've also got my, these are the ones with like the Dermot Lightfast and Holbein's and things. So I thought we'd do that with acrylic markers and see how that works out. Then I've got my... Oh, computer, sorry. My daily drawing sketchbook. So this is the one, uh, <laughs> I hate the pictures for the last four days. I did airplanes because I thought it would be fun and they're terrible, I really dislike them. But the day before I was, well, four days before that, I was doing like fruits and I really like, these are a bit too fussy, but I like the looseness of this. So I thought we could do my today drawing in here. And for that, I'm going to let you vote. This is why I'm showing it to you now, because I think you guys should decide. So we can have, and this one we're going to do in colour markers, like Tombow's, out with pencil over the top. So we've got, bum, not bumblebees, hoverflies on a, a flower. <laughs> or there's this, um, hey Anita, oh you've got your watercolour pencils, brilliant. That's perfect, you don't need anything more than that. Or we've got these fallow deer. That's a bit complicated, but I figure like 20 minutes is going to force me to just, and you, to just do what we need to do quickly. And we've got this funny little, is it a squirrel? Yeah, it's a grey squirrel. Um, and I thought that would be a nice square format as well. So you decide, do you want to do, this is going to be the second one we do together. Do you want to do the squirrel? Do you want to do the fallow deer? deer or do you want to do the hoverflies? So there's that one. There's that one. I'm just showing them again because Anita was getting her supplies, so she may not have seen them. Or the hoverflies. You let me know in the chat, okay? Hey, Angela, nice to see you too. Oh, I'm so happy that like, oh, nobody disappeared because I was so worried I messed up. So that's the one we're gonna do in this book. And then the last one, we're gonna get my Daniel Smith watercolors out. Dear, you're Scottish. <laughs> I thought you might say that, Anita. Is the sound okay? Because I'm really close to the phone, which is the camera. Um, I'll try not to be too loud otherwise. Then this is the one that I was doing the acrylic month in. And this is like the Overijsel landscape, which is like an air in the Netherlands. And I think we're going to do this one because I think that's going to be easier to just do loose with colour pencils or watercolour pencils or whatever you want to use. Okay, so that's going to be the third one. So we're going to have 20 minutes for each. I can't use my phone to time it. I'm gonna have Oh, <laughs> Tara's voting dear as well. Let me see how many votes we've got. We got a deer from Anita, deer from Tara, 
and Angela says, good for me. Okay, so I think we're going to do the deer. So let's do the owl first, the birds. And I'm going to set a timer on my watch, okay? <laughs> I'm a bit nervous of doing this. What did I say we were going to do first? Are we doing this one first, aren't we? So we're going to get the markers out. I did pre-plan the colours I might need. So I've got a couple of blues. Let's just shake them out. I always make a mess when I'm wearing these. Wearing these? <laughs> I end up wearing them. Okay, so there's the drawing that we're going to do. Hopefully, let me move my computer mouse out of the way so we don't get a disaster. Can you see that? It's great. I've got my computer in front of me. Brilliant. Excellent. You can see that. Where? So these are kestrels, apparently. And I'm going to do it on this page because then maybe I should do it on this page. Then that you can see that and I can see this. Right. Are you ready, folks? Let me set a timer. We're going to do 20 minutes. Um, timer. Should we do 20 or 15? Maybe let's do 15 and if we feel like we need more time because I've kept you like for 33 minutes already. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Should I pencil in or should we just go for it? I feel like we should just go for it. We're going to want the yellow. Do I have a yellow? No, we've got peach. That'll do. I have not pre-prepped any of these. And I really hope this isn't going to be a disaster. But hey, it's all good fun, right? Um, I think I might just do this section here. So you can decide which section you want. If you're... um, Because oh, I don't think you can add photos to like community chats here on YouTube. So maybe if you're on Instagram, you can just like post it on Instagram or send it to me on Instagram. Or you can send it to me on email if you want me to see your version. Um, oh my gosh, we're going to mess this up, aren't we? <laughs> maybe I'm going to do one on each page. We'll do it together. Uh, can you see that on the screen? Yeah, I think so. And I'm just going to block in a bit of colour. Just so that we can go over it with pencils when it's dry. This may be terrible, but I'm actually kind of really excited because it's like the first time I've managed to do a live stream on YouTube. I've never done this before and I can only do it because you guys are so lovely and like kind and you don't scare me. Um, okay, so that's this bit that I've done, self-explanatory. And then this guy down here, I, I know it's really basic, me sticking my hand on like that. But I do feel like don't make life harder for yourself, right? Let's get some colour down there. I accidentally um, ended the previous one, which probably worked out actually because I don't think I would have been able to change the orientation. I had to start a new one in order to change it. And I downloaded the software too. And it wasn't working. Oh, Tara, thank you. You <laughs> breathe, you are fine. <laughs> it's really scary doing something for the first time. Oh, um, so yeah. How many, how many people are here? I can't tell. 11 people. Hello, 11 people. I think everyone said hello. Um, so that one, what I did there was, that was the beige Posca. I don't think we're going to need that again. So we'll just get rid of that for now. And then we're going to do like the rusty orange. Well, what I'll do is I'll go with this one. And if you're like just drawing, then just drawing. Uh, just drawing, just drawing. <laughs> if you've only got pencils, I know Anita, you said you've got watercolour pencils. I'm just like glad that we're all here hanging out together. This is light orange. I always struggle to get these things off. Okay. Then let's see, we're going to go. This is like the shoulder, isn't it? We're going to wax some colours up there. Oh, it's got a bit of blue on it. <gasps> I must have used this in the house and not cleaned it. Can't really see much difference, can you? Kilby says, I just tried to use my ivory marker on an ivory page. <laughs> Yay. Ten others. That's right, Anita, because you're one of those 11. I wonder if I count. Oh, there's 13 now. I wonder if I count as one. Um, That's kind of... Oh, I've gone a little bit too far, but hey, hey. We're going to put some like more orange on that. And then we're doing this one, aren't we? So I need to go like a circle. Oh, there's really like dirt on it. And then we go there. Uh, if anyone's joining, there's never been on my channel before. I'm a chatterbox. So, eh, you might not like that. But that's who I am. And I chat with my buddies on YouTube. Okay, then we're going to do like a blob there. 
the great thing about because well, I was going to say the great thing about working with markers is you can't really like do take backs and because I'm such a perfectionist normally if I was working in a pencil I would be rubbing out and rubbing out and rubbing out and that would be a disaster do we want any brown should we put the stick in that they're on oh no because he's got yellow feet maybe we do like a little bit of stick here it's not really a stick is it it's a branch Okay, and then we're coming up here. I don't know if I like this brown in place, but we can always go over it, can't we? I've got some neo colours tucked away. Smudge it about a bit. This one's coming out and over. I always get really dirty fingers when I do this. And I'm probably might I'll probably end up speaking a bit quieter as well, because that's what I do. And I'm concentrating. Oh, I like that. Look, splodges and smudges. That's quite nice. Oh, that's a bit too much. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I've got to remember my timer's on. Where are we at? Okay, we've got nine minutes and 48 left. We can always have an extra five minutes leeway. I think that's probably a good thing to do. Right? Uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. I don't think the colour that I put down here worked out. I think it was a bit too pale. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Earth. That's the brown. So I think that was just the standard brown, yeah. Then we want some blue. Now this one, this is the Molotow one. And it's a really pretty blue, but it goes everywhere. Anita says... Glad no one can see what's happened to my page. <laughs> I want to see what's happened to your page, Anita. Um, I feel like you need to um, send it to me. For those who don't know, in my YouTube about section, I've added like an email address. Uh, so if you want to like, if you're not on socials and you want to send me what you've been doing at the same time, I promise I won't share it unless you want me to on my Insta or anything or on a community post here. It's only if you want me to. Um, but... Oh my gosh, what did I just do to its head? <laughs> it's fine, we'll save it with colour pencils. Uh, what's I saying? I've forgotten. Uh, let's go down here. Um, oh yeah, so there's an email address if you want ever want to email me. Um, it was funny actually, because the day that I put the email up there for Jackie, who's currently in New York, um, I put it up so she could contact me because she was coming up to my part of where I live in the Netherlands. Do we want to put some background in? Oh, I didn't do that bit of the tree. Look, he's just floating. Uh, maybe we do like a bit of background later. Ugh. Um. So yeah, I put the... Okay, we'll show you only. <laughs> yeah, send it to me in an email. I think it's eve at evediva.com um, if anyone wants to email me. And Kilby... How do you not have a brown acrylic marker? Like, um, I think I have a brown acrylic marker because I bought a set in order to get the... I wanted this one, the beige, and it, I could only get it as a set without... It was like, otherwise, they like, never had it in Van Beek. And if I ordered it online by itself, it's going to cost me 12 euros, which is ridiculous. Um, but I could get a set of this, 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 and the ivory for like 10 euros. That's how I have the brown. But it's really handy. What was I going to do with it? I was going to do, we were going to put in this dude here. Now, if this ends up being fun for you as well as me, because obviously it's fun for me, but if it ends up being fun for you, I can do this more often. Um, woo. Uh, um, um, um. Let's move that flippy rudy down here. Go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Sorry if I keep putting my arm in front of the picture. Try not to. Using grey instead. That sounds like a plan. Um, Kilby. Grey's a good colour. I like grey. You can always put like brown pencil on top, can't you? Uh, what we got left for time, folks? Six and a half minutes, but we have a five minute. Oh my gosh, I'm going so slow. <gasps> okay, well, let's get the pencil. Do we need anything else? Quick, quick, quick. Decision, decision, decision. No. Right, we're going to throw these out of the way. Might need them after, but let's. Oh, I didn't do his head. Let's get the pencils. 
let's do the these ones what do we want we want some blue for the head let's use this blue i hope these work on acrylic markers because sometimes they don't um, 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 um oh no see he's not working I need a brighter blue there we go What I love about um, when I do the Zoom calls, timed ones, and to be honest, I do them partly to practice my skills, but also because I have a dream. One of my dreams is to illustrate a children's book. I'm going to get my dark indigo luminance. And I figure the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I actually know how to illustrate rather than just like, you know, draw. And so a lot of the patrons i'm in actually are illustration based tara says i only have three markers lilac green and magenta that's a good combination so i've gone for a clutch pencil version my poor bird the lh one left hand one only has no neck <laughs> i bet it looks amazing tara <laughs> um uh what was i saying it about yeah okay so the live stream thing is it forces me to work a bit faster and be less precious which is why i thought this would be a good thing for us all to do because then it's just about having fun isn't it and not trying to like look at his face <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me should we put a beak on him um okay i've done his face in a really weird way oh, poor kestrel it I probably should sharpen my pencils as well. Like, so far, he's <laughs> got a bit of a gap between his beak and his eye. <laughs> oh my gosh, what have I done? I need a yellow. Should we do a bright yellow? Because, you know. Okay, that's looking a little bit more possible. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> don't even know what i'm doing friends this one is one of my favorite stock indigo let's do some like oh my goodness i'm gonna show david this after and he's just gonna be in hysterics he quite often laughs at my artwork bless him and oh dear i'm gonna blame it on um i don't know i need some blobs here this is like a really bad kestrel okay any uh angela marie says i didn't catch on to where we were doing so i didn't grab anything but i love timed loves so i hope you do more oh, i definitely will if it's uh being enjoyed i can never do feet they look like puffy baby fingers as crystal <laughs> i haven't even started the feet what have we got time for three minutes plus five possible you guys let me know in the comments right do you want to have an extra five minutes once my timer goes off or are you done with this one and want to move on to something else um you let me know because i can always just finish these off if they're worthy of being finished i can always finish them off later should we whack in some browns it feels a bit like a bit like we're actually getting somewhere see i don't think this is going to be the best because it's the first one it's like obviously a warm-up version right and with that is like the stress also following the stress of like not being able to go live as planned um so yeah i forgot what i was saying because i got distracted <laughs> well for anyone feeling like theirs is terrible take note mine is also um she can work some over here as well I keep forgetting what I was saying. I think it's because I'm actually having fun. And then you lose like your thread, don't you? Where are we over here? Sorry, I keep putting my pencils on there, don't I? We need some grey, no, green background. Let's do some like... One thing I love to do when I'm being a bit too precious, you've probably seen others do it, is just hold the pencil from the end, um, like it's cupped, the end is cupped within my hand, my palm, and it just makes me stop being so precious. We need to put some eyes on this fella. What colour do we do? We did like dark indigo. Oh my goodness, I haven't even got a face in there. 
Oh, wrong colour. Let's not do the face yet. Let's do... Oh, okay, the acrylic has dried enough now, actually, that it's working nicely. Before it wasn't, it was a bit like, meh. Um, another three hours. Oh, hang on, let's go further back. So Kilby says, mine currently looks like I'm in kindergarten. The timer is stressing me. Oh, Kilby, don't stress. Like, you could just carry on. Um, take a screenshot um, of this now and then just carry on whenever. Or I can send you a photo of it on Insta. Like... Don't stress, please. Anita, another three hours should help me move off from the bare outline I have. And I've decided on only two birds. Yeah, I've, uh, two birds is sensible. Angela Marie, I grabbed my pencils for the next one. Lol. Excellent. Diana, I'm just watching and enjoying the laughter. I think um, I think that's probably the right, <laughs> the right thing to do, to be fair. Um, oh, should we look at the timer? <gasps> Six seconds. Do we want an extra five minutes or do we want to continue? Let me know in the chat and Kilby's already taken a screenshot brilliant work um I'm gonna set the five minutes and then if you don't I'll just end it uh wow I don't know what to say about this one to be fair he hasn't got any feet yet let's do some feet they're yellow I think this yellow is probably a bit bright it's dark cad yellow Should give him some like claws on the end Arr, arr. His claws. <laughs> you can see what was under his claws. Oh my days. <laughs> and this one hasn't got a claw. Let's put a claw there. Okay. This guy doesn't have any eyes. Um, no one has said anything about continuing for five minutes. So we are continuing and you've got four minutes left. <laughs> you're either too kind or you're too busy. You're too kind to say no, you've had enough rather. Or you're too busy drawing along. This is his beak. It's a very odd looking beak, I know, but let's give him an eyeball here. I need to put like a little bit of light highlight on them, don't we? <laughs> oh my days, look at that. Is that not just the funnest thing? Um Okay, let's give him a little bit of yellow here. A little bit of those poor kestrels. They're like, oh, what have you done to me? <laughs> I look a bit silly. Poor chap. Oh, he's got like a bit more definition actually, this dude. Oh, he's supposed to go behind the log there, the branch. What a lemon. Alas. Too late now, isn't it? Okay. Should we go like mm. These are terrible kestrels. Oh my gosh. Let's put some dark blue over here. Just snazz this one up a bit so we know he's going well. We want some dark on the bottom. We are running out of time, friends. Are you ready? We're on two minutes and 54. So we're on the last hurdle. Whew. Do you feel warmed up? I feel warmed up. I feel like now I can <laughs> maybe not mess the next one up. See, I love this blue. Dark indigo goes on anything it's got lovely texture uh gosh it's a bit of a disaster isn't it do we want a bit more green in the background hmm, maybe this one anything else anita says great fun and that's coming from me of all people thanks for the screenshot tip now i can just relax and listen and chat along with you i will try the others too using what color pencils yeah always take a screenshot um your laugh always makes me laugh my bird oh god my bird looks like it's pooing <laughs> but in blue I want to see that, Zara. That sounds brilliant. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. I think that's good. What are we on? We've got like 1 minute 56. Do I want to like prolong this terrible fun, but fun, very fun. Um, I, I, do you know what? It's fascinating because in this um, daily sketchbook one. Oh crap. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that word, should I? Because it's a live stream. On this one, um, my daily one, it's really helping me to see what I actually enjoy doing, like materials and whatnot. Hang on, Diana said something. The bird on the left looks angry. My bird or your bird? And the an angry bird. And the bird on the right is cute. Maybe give him some red lips. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
how do you put lips on a bird? <laughs> like that? Do you mean like that? <laughs> I don't need to, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm glad I chose my little sketchbook to do this. Yeah, I think that was probably a good idea, Kilby. Um, to be fair, I love working really big because I feel like I can get away with stuff. And when it's little, I feel like I'm more likely to mess it up. Um, what have we got over here? I've got something dark. Oh, that's better. Look, we've got some like oofy dark. I think this is my dough and ink tense one. That I've been like trying to get into. <laughs> oh, perfect. Excellent. Uh, I'm glad that uh, has worked out, Diana. The blue feathers on my Grimpy birds are definitely all wrong. Yeah, I think to be honest, um, Tara, we're um, we're probably <laughs> but you know, it's about having fun, isn't it? This is like a celebration. So, okay, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, friends, that's the end of the five minutes extra. So we are putting the beards away. Oh my days. And then we'll move on to the next one. I'll just move my pencils there. Um, I'll move that to one side. If anyone wants the screenshot of the birds, um, grab it now. I'll count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Now that's gone. Okay, then the next one is... So this is the daily drawing one I showed you briefly earlier. I love this page. I love the vibrant green, but I don't like that green in general. So this, I hated this. This was the airplanes that I've done the last four days. Um, I did think last night that it would have been more sensible to actually draw the state of our flat while it's in the terrible state, but it's also depressing. So I decided not to do that. So today's drawing, let me just pop a peg. And what did I say we were gonna do? Was it this one? and the consensus was deer so let's find the deer page oh there was this one as well but i don't want to show it in case oh barks of britain i thought we could do that another time that might be quite fun for texture um the deer not this one that's the one. Oh dear right who's joining in for the deer are we being brave or are we thinking about just sitting and watching the giggles um Oh, sorry, noise. Let me move my pen. We'll need paintbrush for the next one. Well, I will. I don't know about you. Okay, you can see that. We've got 12 people still here. Hello, 12 people. Oh, my my watch is saying you need to stand up. Uh, we'll skip that. Okay. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, put the pencils to one side. Can you see? Oh, hang on. You need to see the deers, don't you? Let me just have a bit of my squash. Okay, this is going to be much smaller and a bit scarier. <clears throat> Not my days. Let's get rid of stuff that's on the way. So for this one, I'm going to use some... Um, we're going to have that one. We want a brownie colour, but I don't want to go too dark. Maybe a bit of a yellowy. Some greeny. Where's the dark dark? Is that a 910? That's the 910. I've got like the other one that's a bit darker. Maybe that one. Oh, 942. Let's try that one. I think most of it's going to be like pencils after, isn't it? Oh, I've got a sweaty nose, folks. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't have a green. Do we want a green for like the background? And oh, that one will be nice with. Um one that'll do that's kind of greeny i like this one as well actually right so yes anita's joining in crystal is watching and john smith says hello hi john um kilby's giving it a go comic relief excellent <laughs> it's all breaking class now this is going to be really funny because i can't draw animals very well i mean birds don't count as animals technically do they but this is going to be even funnier. Don't forget to take a screenshot if you think you might want to like revisit it. And oh, I've got to set a timer. Oh my gosh. Should we do 15 minutes and then see if we need an extra five? Okay, we're off. Let's do it. 
Um, Diana says, even though I enjoy wildlife, I'm more into painting fruit because I can relate since I'm a fruit cake. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, um, oh, yeah, I'm a bit of a bonkers person too, clearly. I mean, as you can see. How are we going to draw this? I'm going to simplify. I'm only going to draw this dude and this dude. We're going to ignore the legs in the background because that's just far too confusing. I'm pretty sure that's a dude because I can see something hanging down. Maybe that's a girl. Oh no, because it's got... I don't know much about deer. So anyone... Um, I'm looking at you, Anita and Tara. You're Scottish. You said something about deer. How do you... Like, the girl deers have these things or is that just boy deers? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's dive in before we run out of time. Look, we've only got 14 minutes left now. Crikey. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Right. So the size of this antler to his head. So just the antler is the neck, is the feet. Okay, so we've got two thirds. And okay. Oh my lordy be. What am I doing? Let's take that off because that's going to get in my way. Right. So I'm using Tombow 940. Um, a third, a third. So I've got to stop there because that's already a third. Um, <clears throat> oh my days means that I'm concentrating because I've gone very silent uh, I made his head too big <laughs> look how big that is going to be it's like there's not going to be enough space for him at the bottom Oh my days, what have I done? Okay, it's fine. We'll just we'll just see what happens. We'll start start from this point, the bit that we like, which is that, and I'm just gonna carry on and hope for the best. Well we can't fit that one in now because there's no space. So we're gonna have to make it up. Golly gosh, what have I done? Oh my days. Oh, blimey, blimey. I'm not going to put his man bits in there. Um, we'll just go, he's back on his legs like that. And up there. What does the tail look like? We can't see it. We can only see the one behind. Should we just do like a, a poof? <laughs> Oh, hi Kate, nice to see you, Sunny Lanks. We've got the sunshine here, actually. Um, Anita says, fallow deer, both sexes have antlers, but the female has small ones in comparison. Tara, do you want to jump in as a fellow Scot? I had to erase mine and move it down, or the bird was going to be skewed by an antler. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Oh dear, thanks Anita. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just going to split a bit of colour so they can dry because obviously when your tombos are down they they don't dry straight away do they um oh sorry my hand got in the way my original thought was to put the page that we're working from on this side so my hand wouldn't get in but then I was like my shadow would be over it because the window's that direction um Okay, I'm not sure about this, but we'll just we we'll just go with it, friends. Right. Then we're gonna want a bit of darker value. Oh, is that lighter? The 910. Oh, it's the 990. Oh, I messed that one up, didn't I? Never mind. Let's go in with a bit of N79. That's a bit darker. Oh my goodness. Uh what are we on for time? 10 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh underbelly. Oh no, that's a bit dark. Well, it is a bit dark there anyway, isn't it? Oh my days. I feel like there should have been more distance here. I didn't leave enough length. Isn't it a short squat one? Um, Diana says, maybe do some background colour so that the deer will stand out. 
Angela says, I made the body way too long, lol, but I'm impressed on how I drew the head. Excellent. Angela, do you prefer Angela or Angela Marie? Um, just so that I get it right, because I know that if I had two names and I was using two names, I'd be annoyed if people only used one. Uh, so just let me know, please. And I think he needs some background, doesn't he? Should we put this lovely, luscious colour that I like as the background? Okay. Look at that, isn't that a lovely greeny colour? And then... Oh, I've got a sweaty nose. Ah, brilliant, just Angela. And Kilby says, I started strong with antlers and then the bunny is way too big. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh. Okay, that looks like we have potential. Are we going to put some like dark in the background? My hand's going to briefly obscure this, sorry. That's the problem with being right handed, I guess, isn't it? Um, like it's a tree. I'm going to go over his tail because it just looks stupid. I don't quite know what I did there. Okay. That looks better, doesn't it? Now we're on 8 minutes and 15 plus potential 5. <sighs> I'm going to have a sip. Oh, my squash. I'm going to move those out of the way because that will clear some space. Ooh, and then get the pencils out. Now, should we do these pencils? Because I'm loving these at the moment. And I feel like I've got more colour options. Oh, it's do and drawings though. Do I want to do do and drawings? I think we can get like, they are kind of designed for animals, aren't they? The landscapes. Um... Oh, Diana, thank you so much. That is so kind and generous of you. Oh, I'm so, oh, very touched. Oh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I don't know if this colour works. What do you think? I, oh, I want to do the heart. How do I? It says that I can do, oh, I don't know how to do it. It says I can do stuff, but I don't want to put anyone in a time. <laughs> it's not working. Um, right, we put the ears over here. I feel like I've messed this one up, folks. Look, and the legs are too skinny at the back. Oh no, maybe I don't want to use that pencil. We'll go with this one. This is my like kit I showed you the other day, uh, which has got like my Derwent Lightfast, my Derwent Drawings, my Holbeins, and Derwent Drawings. Oh, the, I forget what they call, the Colour Soft. Those were in the ones that I just showed you Friday's video? Yeah, it was Friday's video. I was really hoping that my little sketchbook would be finished so I could do a sketchbook tour this week, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I don't know what the video will be for this Friday. Um, I'm really not feeling inspired by this. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Do you get that when you just like, it's the face that scares me. <laughs> Let's do the face and take away the fear. Let's get dark sepia red that will help won't it anyone got any tips oh kerry says she's having a lovely time thank you oh you're welcome i'm glad that you're here um it's always i think it's nice isn't it i miss one of the things i miss being in this country is i don't have like a circle of friends with the same interest as me or similar interests as me oh my gosh look what i just did to his eyes <laughs> um and although there are like i like i've tried to just, join like um in-person meetup type things sketching it's always like oh that's red 
Um, mm -mm -mm. Maybe we go back to this one. It's not, not like when I first got here, I joined a sewing group on what's the app called Meetup? Something, yeah, I think it was a Meetup. And then the person, well, then the pandemic happened, and then they didn't do any more Meetups. So I could start one myself, I suppose. But I also like when sewing is your job and pattern making is your job, you don't really want to be doing that with friends. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you've got a bunch of friends that you've uh, friendships that you form and it's with people doing stuff that you do for work it kind of takes the fun out of doing work doesn't it so this is kind of brilliant for me because a i feel like i'm making friends all over the world and we're doing stuff that we love to do as non-work that's just fun so yeah so i'm glad if y'all are having fun <laughs> look at that oh my gosh what did i do to his antler that is probably like, oh my goodness. Let's see if we can salvage his ear a little bit. It's going to be the best um, sketchbook flip through in the future. We'll remember. We'll be like, ah, oh, remember the day when we did that first live stream and it all went a little bit crazy. I cannot get his nose right. Oh, actually, that's kind of added a bit. He doesn't look quite so odd let's give him a bit of a grimace <laughs> oh my days look at that oh my days i quite like it now actually now he's got a lot of face he's looking all right angela marie says oh my god i just added face features to my day but legit it looks like human features it's creepy so i'm actually lol but scared <laughs> adding the face has taken it to that hat or at two and not at all happy place <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like mine's it's got like a steering look i don't know what i did to make it look okay not brilliant it's okay <laughs> um i don't know what's going on with his antlers should we do a time check two minutes plus five if we want it so you let me know in the chat do you want the extra five or are we uh nearly done with this one because obviously I don't want to force anyone to do something they're not enjoying. Right, let's put some grasses in. Where are my grasses? Urgh. Shall we get... Oh, I like this one. This one's a good one. Lichen green. Oh, I need that luminance one. Oh, I don't know where it is. I've got a really nice luminance one that's good for, like, brightening stuff up. Um. Mm -mm -mm. This one is also nice as well, light bronze for light fast. Oh, it's kind of similar to the lichen actually. Where are we at? A wee bit longer. Yeah, sure thing. I need. Uh, um, my dear has so many watercolor sketch lines that are errors. My dear's face looks as if never gets dear photo bombing. <laughs> Okay, Anita, you really do have to, like, send me these in an email. Eve at evedeva.com uh, Because I would love to see those. Okay, that's a bit of grass stuff. Let's do some dark stuff behind that. Did we put some... Just winging it. Okay, we need some tree stuff. Um, ooh, these ones are good for trees, actually. What we got? My light fast ones. What should we do? Let's just put some like. Okay, that's not like the worst in the world, is it? Tara's given up. Her dear's head is three sizes too small for his body. His expression looks very worried about Tara's lack of, complete lack of sketching ability. I've never done time sketches before. You know what, Tara? The first time I did a time sketch, I'd never done one before, uh, <laughs> obviously. And it was so overwhelming and scary. And yeah, but the thing is, it does get better with practice because you 
start realizing what it is that's like the main focal point so for me for this one i started i put in the outline of course but then i started like oh hang on that's 15 minutes we've got five more okay um what's the saying yeah fo and this is something i learned from sarah dyer's patreon i think she did like a simplifying subjects session and she was like think about the thing that's the most capturing for you like what if there's a scene in front of you or a photograph what thing is it that you really like are drawn to sorry i thought i was going to hiccup so it was this so that's like the first thing i think that i put in wasn't it like the antlers because that's the focal point i really like this one but i didn't factor that in so if i was going to redo this i would make sure to make this guy a bit smaller so i can fit this one in as well because i like the two looking at the camera so when you're doing like a timed session, oh, I've just put that in the wrong spot. Um, the the way that I do it is think about the one that I, the thing that I want to capture first, like what's the most important thing for me to capture? Because that's the bit, like if you run out of time, it doesn't matter because you then caught the bit that was most important. You know what I mean? Hope that helps anyway. That's what I learned from Sarah Dyer. Um, she's in, in like her patron is probably not suitable for everyone because she does um oh i messed that color up didn't i let's go back to forest she is a she teaches on the ma in brighton for illustration book illustration so some of the stuff probably isn't relevant uh, to others <laughs> i'm not sure what i've done with my trees um and he says never done it either i'm not sure about it as I am very slow, so very slow. Ah, doesn't matter. Just, you know, if anything, just using time sessions as warm up so that you're warmed up before you do your very slow. Angela, my head is so small too, but I did good on shaping antlers. Excellent. And Tara says his head looks like his antlers that are attached to an Alice band when I tried to fix it. <laughs> I really want to see these. Um, I feel like he needs a bit of, like the trees in the background are all right. I can always fix those later, can't I? But I think he needs a bit of work. What colour should we throw onto him? A bit yellow ochre. I'm not sure that's going to be right either. Sorry, my hands are in the way. Don't forget to take a screenshot if you want to work on this at a later point. Revisit it, that kind of thing. That's the wrong colour. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to put some blue in for the sky. It's a mid-ultramarine. We'll pretend there's a blue sky. That might just give it a little pop that's going to make me happy. There we go. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm so glad I managed to work out the tech. Otherwise, I probably just would have sat on the sofa feeling miserable. See, that works a bit, a bit better, with, doesn't it? With a bit of blue sky. Um, He looks like he's been captured and been like, whoa. Do we want to add... No, not ink blue. A bit of warm earth. Time check, you've got one minute and 39 left. Uh, what was I saying to Anita? Oh yeah, time sessions are quite often, if you don't want to like just do a whole time session, just do like a few as warm ups. Like a couple of minute here, ten minutes there before you do a longer, slower. Because you like doing florals, don't you? Um, Angela says I find for timed. If I like what I did during timed, I'll go back and refine. Yeah, same here. John says some warm shade of orange or dark brown. Ooh, for the body. Do you mean? I've got a lovely orange, but it's a bit. <laughs> That's my kind of orange, but I think that might be a little bit too bright. Uh, warm brown. Oh, I've got a nice Mars orange, actually. That's a nice colour. I'm going to have to put the spots in after, I think, because... Oh, that was a good suggestion. Well played, John. Um, oh, I think it needs to be a little bit yellower. Should we put in some white blobs? 32 seconds. I've got a neo colour somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Where did I put it? <gasps> What's in here? No, that's Durance. Oh no. I don't know where it is. I'll put the dots in after. Um, yeah. 
let's make that leg stand out a bit as well. I think I've given him three legs. I thought that was a leg, but actually it's not. That's time. We're done. Oh my goodness. Crikey. I think we're using these ones. Oh, should we do polychromos for the next layer? The next one, because I can't handle that. That's stressful. Where are we going to put them? I've got like art supplies everywhere. Right, let's do the five, four, three, two, one. If you want a screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Cling, cling. Gone. Um, Angela, oh, hang on. Anita says, I do. Maybe I should stick a flower in my dear's mouth and call it Ermatrude. <laughs> and Angela says, I also like the challenge out of comfort zone. I did one the other day in a room of master painters. Oh my goodness. That would have been so scary. And tried to replicate with watercolor, but real artists used oil. So there's that. Oh yeah, that would be a tricky situation. So then the last one, and I did this one last because this one we're going to do watercolor and it's this one here i thought it's a nice one to like be a little bit like less manic to finish on now i was going to use this page of my sketchbook which means i'm gonna have to put you the other side i'm afraid also that works because i am right-handed and so i can put my palette over there i'm just going to do like a whole bunch of splodging uh I should have done this already, but nay ho. Um, um, um. Oh, don't knock the water off the table. Okay. That's good. Can we see? I mean, you don't need to see mine. You need to see the picture. You can see the picture, can't you? Bit of squash. Okay. Then a paintbrush. What kind of paintbrush do we want to use? Should we just go with like a splodgy brush? Let me move my drink because otherwise I'm going to put my paintbrush in it and that's not going to be a good taste. I haven't picked up my watercolours in ages, so this is going to be an interesting one. Um, what have we got? Anita says, I'd love to see your dear Alice band. Yeah, I think we all want to see Tara's dear's Alice band. <laughs> okay. Am I going to put water on the page? Oh, I need to set a timer. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to set 20. And then if anyone doesn't want to continue for 20, feel free not to. But we're timing it and off we go. Mm. Oh, my days. I think we're just going to go. Let's put some water on the page and make a bit of a mess. I used this one for a Sarah Dongan one core in March maybe um we want green here I'm I'm not even looking at my color like what they are I'm just gonna put stuff on because I don't have time with this small to figure out what I'm picking up um yeah I did one in this sketchbook from a Sarah Dongan session Van Dongen. Sarah Van Dongen is her actual name. And what's that? Oh. And my brain went blank, folks. I liked how the water worked on this. So I thought, oh, that's, let's try that again. Ooh, look at that. Um, work a bit of that. Bit of sunlight, dappled sunlight. And put some up here, like the trees. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm just guessing here. Colours. Should we put a bit of blue in? Let's go with that blue. It's going to be a bit greeny because I didn't clean my brush. Oh well. Ooh, ooh. Sunlight coming through the trees. David's going to look at these later and be like, Evie, what were you doing? <laughs> Should we have a bit in the water? A bit of sunlight. Reflection. Don't quite know. We've messed that one up already. Hey-ho. Don't know how it's going to dry in time. Maybe I'll get my ink tense pencils out. Oh, no, I've got hair. <gasps> the 
that's a cat hair she gets everywhere that cat i'm gonna get my inktense pencil this one bark and oh, it's walking again Urgh. who's saying anything i have to go but this was awesome thanks so much ah oh, i'm glad you were able to join us angela and i'm sorry that i messed up the beginning <laughs> um yeah thank you so much for joining and see you soon bye uh okay we're gonna put a building in here And then I think I need I don't know where my rag is. <laughs> oh my days. And now we've got a big old tree over here. My hope is that by putting this ink tansy pencil down while the page is wet, it gives um, the rest of it a chance to dry off. Because I don't have a hairdryer. I mean, I do somewhere upstairs. I could go and get it. I'm not sure how I'd meet so it doesn't disturb you all, though. Um, and then this side of the path, we've got another tree. Can't see much of it, mind. And a bit here. Oh my days. So there's one on the edge of the frame we're going to pop in. Oh, thank you, Angela. That's so kind. Crystal, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> So, what do we think? I feel like we need a bit of dark here. Oh, we've got another one here. These guys are like hanging out almost. They're trying to reach each other. <laughs> oh my gosh, mine looks a little bit bonkers. Okay. I need it to dry. Maybe I get the put the bark one away. I had a couple here that I haven't stored anywhere yet. Should we just like so I need to have joined you with the watercolor pencils. Um did, did I think you've seen it, I think you commented. Um but on my little mini Jackson's art haul video I was talking about um watercolor pencils uh specifically the Karen Dash Museum Aquarelle I've been eyeing them up they're in my basket in Jackson's but I'm waiting for a sale because quite expensive otherwise <laughs> I don't know what we've done there look at that what's this bright blue don't think we need bright blue let me find my wrap back because I know I put some in here. Oh no, oh no, they're going everywhere. Oh, rubbish. Okay. So these are my like inky tensy ones. I've got more, but I put some upstairs in my bedroom to use there. They're the same ones. These I've had since I did like fashion school years ago. Um, I 
and I never really well it's the thing isn't it when you like I went to fashion school and they're all like oh these are the supplies that you need and it's like all we needed these for was like one small term of fashion illustration which I was never very good at uh what do we think The water there is a little bit like more sludgy, isn't it? Um, maybe leaf green. Oh my days. Oh, that's a good colour. Look at that. We can put that in the water because that's like sludgy water anyway. Should I do a time check? 11 minutes and 44. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my days, I don't know that this is going to work very well. What should we do with the house? I feel like I just need to let it dry actually and then go in with pencils. What's this one? Iron green. That's not quite the right green, is it? That's like a really... I feel like that tree should have come down further. Like if this is the path and these are the two trees, I've not really put them down far enough like a plonk. <sighs> So silly. It's more like that, isn't it? Because when you think this one is up here, this guy needs to come down a bit, and then this guy needs to come down a bit as well. Okay. Then it says the Karen Dash Museum Micro are way better than Faber Castell. Oh, that's good to know. Because the Faber Castell ones are the Albrecht Dura, right? And I saw someone using the aquarelle ones and the colours that she gets. I'll pop a link. Um, what's her name? I can't look at my phone because I'm using my phone to video. But the... I think her name is Lena Moz. I'm in her Patreon, actually. No. Yeah, it is Lena Moz. She's Polish. But she has these most incredible loose watercolours and she uses those. Um, I think it's L-E-N-A and then Moz, I think it's M-O-Z. Uh, but her... Like, she does really gorgeous loose watercolours. Um, but she, her Patreon, she only started it recently. And she has... Um, she's... she's the mostly have been silent, but she has also done... I'm just going to put a bit of blue blob there. Oh, that was too bright. That was silly. Don't do that. Um, what was I saying? She's mostly done... Yeah, videos with music, which I find a bit jarring. You, you, as you'll know, because I don't do video music here. And then she had, um, recently she did it in Polish, but she put subtitles on. So that was kind of interesting, listening to the Polish um, wordage. Because uh, I have a friend who's Polish, and it brought back memories of living with her. We used to be flatmates. I'm going to let that dry. <laughs> I didn't factor this in, did I? The whole, like, watercolour thing. Um... What are we on for time? Eight minutes left. That's never going to dry enough in eight minutes. None of my pencils are going to work. I really didn't think this one through. I should have pre-prepped a page. That's what I should have done. Oh, well. Maybe I will do... These colours aren't very good. Oh. And it says, using Karen Dash Super Colour, bought second hand on eBay. This is their maiden voyage. Ooh, but you're not sure about them yet. Well, hopefully... Um... You grow to love them. Although, did you, if you got them on eBay, they hopefully weren't too expensive for you. I'm looking for this one. Also, um, am I right in remembering that your daughter was getting married in April this year? I can't remember if it was April or May this year. I remember you telling me a couple of months ago now, actually. I'm going to, like, wing it. We're going to just, like, go in and... 
because I think if I sit here and wait for it to dry, it's going to be a disaster. Sorry, I put my finger on and realised suddenly that you all are using it. We need a grey. Let's do, I've got Luna Black, which is a bit like watery. Which one is Luna Black? Oh my days. Or the Hematite. Uh, let's go for this one. Hope for the best. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty sure that's not Hematite though. <gasps> gonna get some granulation. Gonna get some granulation. We're going around the tree as well. Look. Ooh. See? It's a proper little path. We go up there. Ooh. <laughs> That's what my mind used to do. Gooey. Um, like this. There we go. Uh Anita says, oh no, Tara, I've sat this one out, but we'll try it later. I think I need some more realistic colours as I only have 24 set of the Faber Castell Albrecht Jira watercolour pencils, so I don't have helpful greens. Yeah, that's another reason why I don't like the ink tents, the Durant ink tents, to be honest. I find the colours a lot more vibrant. Oh, I should have got my Oh, I'm such a blonk. Oh, I've got the Durant ink tents blocks, not the whole set. I've just got like a bunch of greens. They would have been perfect to try. Darn it, should have done, should have thought of that. Uh, because then I wouldn't be waiting like I am now. Um, but that is a problem I find with the Durant paint um pencils, the ink pencils, and actually the ink tense blocks are quite vibrant as well. So um I can see where you're coming from there. Should we put a bit of that? That's a bit thick. Should have watered that down a bit, shouldn't we? But it's okay, we'll miss it. Um, and then this has got some orangey. Well, let's double up and put a little bit more over here. I'm using straight from the pan. I'm not like smushing it on the palette. I don't know why I use this brush. I don't really like it so much. <laughs> oh my days. Maybe we'll put some here and actually be sensible instead of just winging it. Got dappled sunlight over here. Did we already do that? I feel like we did that already. Um, another green. Uh, oh yeah, the same thing from Tara. I thought I'd, something else had come up, but it's not. Oh, I like that one. Oh no, which one was that? <laughs> I keep putting my... I think that's the undersea one that I like, the granulating one. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm just randomly putting my paintbrush into my palette and not really thinking about what area of the palette I'm going to. Oh, we could save this. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's green tape. It's a different green. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Oh goodness gracious me. I had like toast with peanut butter hours ago. I love peanut butter. Uh with honey on top. Kilby had um I think I introduced that to her a couple of months back. Love a bit of peanut butter and honey. On buttered toast, of course. It, really good on a sesame seed bagel. Okay, what do we need here? There's like greenery going on there, isn't there? And you put a little bit light near the back as if it's just pretending. Maybe we got this one. Uh oh. <laughs> I just flicked water everywhere. Um <laughs> we need something over here. This isn't I don't know what I've done there. That was a bit of a This brush is a De La Rowney fan blender I've probably had for about 20 years. 
um, from when I did my foundation in art and design way 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 back um could be says you did yeah i did too many bright greens i love them but not for this i feel cold pens order. oh my gosh i've never ordered from cold pens three for two on some art supplies at the moment including albrecht Dior and neo colors oh 27th of april next saturday oh my gosh i thought it was in april there was something in my memory that was saying it was april i hope it goes well anita um it's exciting, isn't it, weddings? We had my nieces last weekend, which I've got to edit the photos later today, actually, finish editing some of them. I've just put a dirty... Oh, I've just ruined my birth titanium. What have I done that for? I put a dirty green into my birth titanium. Let's see if we can savage it. Savage? Salvage? There's a building here as well, actually. You can't really see very well. And then there's tree stuff. And then I feel like I'm going to have to put pencil over the top of this. Um, got the super colours, a tin of 30 for £21. Oh, that's really good. Seven, is that like 70p a pencil then? Simply a lucky break. I placed a much higher bid, then left it alone. The auction stopped at a silly time of day. <laughs> that is the way to do it, Anita. Um, well played. I used to be really good at eBay back when I was a student and I needed to buy stuff like fabric and like historical piece like you know secondhand clothing to take apart and understand constriction I used to be really good all my friends used to get me to do eBay for them because I literally nail it every single time I don't know how what have I just done that for we need a grey roof on that don't we eh, where's my pencil gun oh, that one is that bark no, it's ink black. That's not the one we want. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing with my bark pencil. I've mixed it up. Never mind. We were winging it. What we're going to do here is some kind of darkness. Bit, bit of inky, watery, shimshy. Let's just like make out that it's like a really dark, like something that's happening. And then we will hope the wedding is wonderful. Anita, yeah. It's a good time of year as well. We were so lucky with my nieces. The sun was shining. It didn't rain. We were really lucky. Um, because it rained the whole week leading up to and then after. Um, a bit of yellow there. Dappled sunlight. Oh, I think we ran out of time. <gasps> That's it. That's 20 minutes. Who wants to continue? Does anyone want to continue for another five minutes? Or are you good? Uh, let me know in the chat. I will just... Keep going for a moment while you all decide. I'm really, 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 really hungry. But I think it's because I was so nervous before that I just had a tiny piece of toast. Oh, I think this could be salvaged, maybe. Mm. Okay, no one said anything. So I'm going to give us three minutes, okay? Three minutes to finish up. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know where to go next. And like we need shadows coming across. Go here. A bit of burnt sienna, I think that is. Oh no, that's my golden one. Like thin gold. <gasps> Let's do that. As if we've got like a shadow, warm shadow coming across. We wouldn't have it there. We have got it there. <laughs> bit of warmth at the back. Oh, that's too bright. What have I done? Oh, I messed it up, folks. Look, I put too much brightness. Oh, well. I'm just going to have so much fun drawing over this afterwards. Which is why I did it on this side, because this side is like hot press. This side's cold press. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh, You can continue while I waffle to you. <laughs> if you want to so um this if you want to take a screenshot uh, let me get the drawing no the photo so there's no reflection you ready there is the oh hang on diana says continue oh okay well let me do this for a second so you can take a screenshot anyone that wants to and then let's put a timer on for five minutes 
for anyone that wants to continue. Oop, that's the wrong one. Where are we going? Here. Not hours, Evie. Five minutes. There we go. All right. Five minutes. Akilby says she's going to finish on a high note. I'm much happier with this than the others. Oh, I can't wait to see. Um, what can I do to... I've done a greenhouse by accident. Like, oh, I've moved it, the picture. Sorry. There we go. Then you can see it. Sorry about that, folks. Um, 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 um. We've got, like, wood out the back. I feel like... Maybe I can... I've got, like, a little window on the building. Getting dirty hands now. I've got some, like... I'll give it a drawer as well. I think this is going to look quite okay. Not great, but okay once I get the paper dry and actually get some pencil on. I'll probably use the Luminance because I think the Luminance will work over this better than the Polychromos. I'm having lots of fun playing with different pencils at the moment. Um, if anyone, I think I already asked this earlier, if anyone would like another like, I know this was like a celebrationary thing, my first attempt, but if anyone would like to do like another live, maybe like once a month I could do one um, for the giggles. Similar kind of thing. We can do um, photos that I source. If you wanted to, we could also do like crowdsourced. So if you've got photos that you would like to see other people drawing, you could always email them to me as well. We could do it that way. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I did that for. Look at that. It's like a little house in the background. Okay. Um, Diana says, continue. Your tree trunks need to be darker and more defined. Mine, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go in with the pencils once the paper's dried. Because I don't really want to use these ink tents. I do like the texture that I've got using them wet originally. But I do have to go in. I need to put in more leafage as well. Um, Anita says, yes, please. I'm assuming yes, please, as to once a month, like, we all get together and do this again. Excellent. Uh, that would be loads of fun. Kilby says, I loved this. It took me out of my comfort zone. Yay! That's the important thing, isn't it? And having fun. Like... We're all having fun. That's there's not enough fun in the world, is there? Lots of um non fun. So I think if we can, what I'll do is I'll put a poll up on the YouTube community bit. I'm not actually posting as much on Insta at the moment because uh, I I find Insta a bit of a drag to be honest. Um, I like I much like it over here. I feel like on Insta it's all like ooh ooh ooh. Look what I've done. Yay. And um, I'm more of a like, I just want to hang out. <laughs> and yeah, so I've stopped sharing my daily ones over there. I might do like every now and again because they do share to my personal Facebook, which is kind of nice because then I can look back at them when, t when you know, when Facebook does it, things like, oh, a year ago today, you were doing this. I can look back and be like, wow. Um, We need the this to have more <laughs> I've done like a golden shadow I quite like the golden shadow Tara says um, I think I might wander to the park after this two minutes away and take some pics of the cherry blossoms to sketch I'm feeling really inspired to create now thank you so much I'd love this once more yay oh that's so so cool Tara brilliant I'm glad that it's inspired you we do get stuck in ruts don't we as well like I'm I can't wait to get back outside proper because I like drawing outside um, it, drawing at home alone from photos, not quite the same. I feel like I can pull this together later, friends. Uh, we've got like, how much time have you got left? You got 30 seconds. <gasps> Last marks. Hopefully you all took screenshots as needed. The paper is starting to dry, so I think I'm going to be able to come back in after.
and then I've got that lovely texture from the original marks. Um, three, two, one, zero. Okay, that's it. Wow, that is 81 minutes in total. I'll put this here again just in case anyone wants to take a quick screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one. And then I'll share quickly the grand Oof. finale of <laughs> what we managed, or what I managed, my dodgy deer. There's that. And then. Oh, dear. Ow, I'm falling. Oh, rubbish. I nearly fell off. And then my owls. No, they weren't owls, were they? They were kestrels. There we go. So that's the grandson of my attempt at drawing with you today. Um, Diana says, yes, please. Once a month would be great. Maybe you could let us know ahead of time what the photos will be and the supplies that we will use and paper so we could be set up. I'm just hanging out. Brilliant. Yep. Happy to do that, Diana. Tara, I've been very down about my art, but I've loved this. <laughs> my mutant animals included. I want to see the mutant animals. Um, oh, I'm so happy. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so what we'll do is firstly, thank you everyone for coming. It's been so lovely to hang out with you. I should put my hands on the table so you know I'm still here. Um, thank you so much for coming. It's been really lovely to hang out with you. I am absolutely uh, keen to do a once a month kind of thing where we just hang out and do this again. What I could do is put a poll up to see like what dates work best and then the, I think it's easier to do it on a Saturday once a month but if people were actually prefer to do a weekday we could also do that instead because I am around most weekdays I work from home and my little office um outside of the home when I want to go there and get out the house so that's also a possibility and then yeah I think photos I could put the photos up ahead of time and what I'll be using so then if you want to do the same again I think that's a really great idea Diana thank you for that um right thank you so much i'm gonna go and get a cup of coffee and some biscuits maybe even a late lunch and wait for this to dry fix these up i'll share them when i've tidied them up probably tomorrow on the youtube community where i post the posts and yeah thank you so much and he says thank you so much hostess. you know that until this moment i've not touched anything for almost a year wow shaking hands and sudden hand jerks put me off but i have just so much enjoyed this oh i'm so glad anita um and every you know just a little bit here and there hopefully it's it's yeah good times um i'm so glad that you were able to be here anita um yeah cool all right lots of love and hugs to you all thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you soon take care bye let's see that frantic wave handing like bye <laughs> right lots of love i don't know how to end this actually how do i do it oh john nice to see you as well um okay now you get to listen to me being confused while i try and figure out how to do it hmm do i press this